All right, I'm gonna help you organize uh, some shapes, okay? And I'll give you some basic characteristics of each. There's a lot of characteristics. You're gonna to wanna to know most, or if not all of them, but here we go. The polygon is, that's simple. It's an enclosed shape, okay? A polygon has to have three or more sides. So if it has three sides, we call it a triangle, okay? So the triangle, by the way, the offspring of a polygon are triangle, quadrilateral, and other, okay? The triangle has three sides, you already know that. There's special triangles called a scalene, which means none of the sides are equal. There's an isosceles triangle, which means at least two sides equal. Now notice how I focus on at least two, because something I don't think they've ever told you in middle school is an equilateral triangle is isosceles. Why? Because an equilateral triangle has three equal sides. Well, where I come from, that's at least two. So an equilateral triangle is an isosceles triangle. Every equilateral triangle is isosceles, but every isosceles is not equilateral. In other words, if you come down here and you follow the line, every equilateral triangle is isosceles, it's also a triangle, it's also a polygon. But every polygon doesn't have to be an equilateral triangle. Next, you had another kid called the quadrilateral. The quadrilateral has four sides, quad, that makes sense, okay? A quadrilateral had three kids of its own. The first one, some scholars think, may be the sh one of the smarter shapes, is a kite, okay? A kite had no kids, so it's left there. A kite just has two pairs of congruent sides, among other things that you'll learn about later. A parallelogram was his other son, and it's called a parallelogram because opposite sides are parallel. Opposite angles, congruent, there's a bunch of characteristics, but for now, opposite sides parallel, and they're also congruent. A parallelogram had two kids of its own, a rectangle and a rhombus. A rectangle has opposite sides parallel because it's a parallelogram. It's also a quadrilateral, four sides. But what makes a rectangle special? It's got four right angles, okay? A rhombus is a parallelogram. What makes a rhombus special? You know, all four sides are congruent. And then a rectangle and the rhombus had a kid called a square, okay? It took the characteristics of a rectangle and a rhombus. What is a square? You already know four right angles, four congruent sides. Last but not least, the quadrilateral had a kid called a trapezoid, okay? There's two kinds of trapezoid. First of all, every trapezoid has one pair of parallel sides, okay? There is a right trapezoid, well, take a wild guess. It's a trapezoid, one pair of parallel sides, but it's got right angles. It's got two right angles. And then the trapezoid had my uh, one of my favorite shapes. To this day, my son, I think he, he, well, I don't think, I know, he just turned 24 years old. To this day, the isosceles trapezoid it is still his favorite shape, okay? It's a trapezoid with two congruent sides. Why does he love the isosceles trapezoid? Because it's very rarely seen in the wild. Very elusive shape. Only comes out at night. As a matter of fact, I've only seen an isosceles trapezoid in the wild one time. I kind of live close to school, so one night I was bored. I'd come to school, get some work done. I had to use the restroom, so I go out. It's nighttime, and the lights flick on, you know, the uh, timer on the light it comes on. And all of a sudden, I hear, and what I looked, and there was a mother isosceles trapezoid and like five or six baby isosceles trapezoids scampered into the locker. I ran over there. They disappeared. I'd never seen them again. At any rate... Here is uh, your shapes in a nutshell. Take a break. No, you forgot the other. I forgot these guys? Yeah. And now we're gonna finish off with the other, which is a whole ton, it's unlimited amount of shapes. You know, the pentagon, five sides, octagon, eight sides, hexagon, six sides, and then we've run out of names. 34 sides, we call it a 34-gon, et cetera, et cetera.